Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. I'm Susie Sa. Our top story here on KCAL 9 News at 10 caught on camera. Gardena police shoot and kill an unarmed man. The shooting happened two years ago, and ever since, the city has tried to keep the dash cam video a secret. But tonight, it has been released after a long legal struggle. Tonight, KCAL 9's Andrea Fujii is live at the Gardena Police Department with the video and the story. Andrea. Well, Susie, the Gardena police chief did not want this video released, so he requested an emergency stay, which was actually granted this evening, but not before another judge released the video to several media outlets. It was June 2013 when Gardena police stopped Ricardo Diaz Zeferino and some friends as they investigated reports of a bike robbery. In the dash cam video, you see Zeferino in black wearing a hat. While Zeferino's companions had their hands up, you see Zeferino keep moving. At one point, he takes off his hat and appears to hold his hands out. That's when he's shot and killed. We're freezing the video. The Zeferino family attorney says he was unarmed and trying to explain to police that they didn't commit the crime. But Prosecutors declined to charge the officers involved. However, the city settled a civil suit brought by the family for $4.7 million. The family and several media outlets asked to have the video released, and today a judge agreed. We showed the video, first posted to the LA Times, to legal analyst Steve Meister. There are lots and lots of things that go into appropriately judging an incident like this. The videotape is only one aspect of many. Since the shooting, Gardena police say they've implemented new training to slow down fast moving events and also released a statement that reads in part, we continue to sympathize with the families and regret their loss. We have serious privacy concerns as it relates to the release of police videos in general. We worry about the implications of this decision and its impact on victims and average citizens who are recorded by the police. Now, Zeferino's family could not speak to me on camera tonight, but their attorney tells me they are happy this video was released and are hoping to seek federal charges against those officers. Reporting live in Gardena, Andrea Fuji, KCAL 9 News.